Hi everyone, welcome back to another quick vlog that was not planned. I had some paneer in my fridge so thought of cooking something special for lunch and that paved way for a shoot. I thought I'll share what I make for lunch and hence this video. Hope you all will like it. Keep watching. As usual, it was a weekday and it always starts at 5. But not going deep into the morning rituals or routine. Just a glimpse of what I prepared for breakfast and the same was for kids tiffin. For the previous night, we had chapati and chicken curry. There was gravy left over without many chicken pieces in it. So all I did was cooked some pasta and mixed it with the curry. That was a quick and easy breakfast for today. My husband isn't much of a fan of cuisine other than our traditional breakfast but still he eats without much complaints. Anyways, I fried an egg to have something along with the pasta. After kids and my husband leaves for their school and office, I did mention that I get into the kitchen after a short rest. And not always, but on some days, I like to sip a hot cup of tea or a coffee. It said jaggery is to be used during winter, so I have switched to palm sugar candies which isn't processed like the white sugar we get. I recently started to watch a series on Netflix and it's a short one thankfully. I watch one episode per day. It's really burning here in Oman. Do let me know in the comment section what the climate condition is in the location you are residing right now. Just being curious to know from where you are watching my video. It will be exciting to hear from you.
For lunch, obviously this rice, and I thought I'll make it a complete vegetarian meal. I added chana dal, so it's almost like a kichdi. I soaked one cup chana dal after washing well. Kept that aside for a while. It's always better when I start my meal preparations after cleaning the countertop and dishes that's piled up in the sink. And then I wash all the vegetables and keep all the ingredients nearby. That makes the cooking easier without stress. Before starting to cube and chop, I make sure my knife is sharp. It's so annoying to use a blunt knife. With paneer, I'm preparing paneer kada. That I'll be preparing first and that will go along with the rice which I'll be preparing the second. For the karai you will need a spice mix. For that roast few ingredients first. Around 3 or 4 dried red chilies, 1.5 teaspoon cumin seeds, 3 teaspoons whole coriander seeds, 1.5 teaspoon fennel seeds, half teaspoon whole black peppercorns. Roast on medium low flame for almost 5 minutes. Grind to a coarse powder while it's still warm. Heat a kadai or a large size pan that's heavy bottom. Heat 2 or 3 tablespoons of ghee which is preferred. If not, then use oil. To that goes 1 teaspoon cumin seeds. After a few seconds, add 2 medium onion that's chopped to very tiny pieces. Saute till it turns to a slightly brown shade. Add one and a half tablespoon crushed garlic and three four to one tablespoon crushed ginger. Saute till they are slightly fried in the ghee along with the onion. If you want, you can chop the tomatoes to tiny pieces. Here I am blending it. I used almost five medium to small tomatoes. Keep that aside. Meanwhile to the pan add half teaspoon turmeric powder, 3 teaspoons Kashmiri red chilli powder, 1 tablespoon coriander powder, 1 tablespoon of the kadai masala that I roasted just now. Along with this add 3 or 4 green chilies that are slit. Mix well and make sure the flame is low so that the spices doesn't burn. Do keep adding water a little at a time till it's like a paste. After a few seconds, add around 1.5 cups of hot water. Keep cooking till you see the oil or the ghee on top. Now it's time to add the blend tomatoes. Mix well. Add some salt. Let the tomatoes get cooked till they turn to a dark red shade. Mm -hmm. 
Meanwhile to save time you can chop one capsicum and one medium onion. You will have to fry these or saute these on high flame. Heat a pan and drizzle some oil. Add the vegetables and saute on high flame for a minute. Don't forget to give a mix to the tomatoes in between. Then add 1 kilo paneer cubes along with 1 teaspoon of the karai masala powder. Gently mix. If you can toss then well and good. Now transfer to the tomato and gently give a mix. Add a handful of chopped coriander leaves. Two pinches of kasuri methi, that's dried fenugreek leaves. Mix and finally goes in half cup fresh cream, which is optional, but this adds a good taste. Let this boil for a few seconds and it's ready. Time for the rice preparation. I'm cooking it in a pressure cooker. Heat one or two tablespoons of ghee. Add a few whole spices. Now the ingredients are in the description box, so do check it out. Then add one tablespoon ginger crush. Saute till the raw smell goes. Now either add one large or two small onions that are sliced. Along with this, add three green chilies that are slit. Now saute till the onions are soft and light brown or slightly fried. To this goes one medium tomato that's chopped. Add some salt and mix well. Let the tomato go soft. Now I added half a capsicum that's chopped which is optional. And then add the soaked and drained chana dal. Roast for 2 or 3 minutes on low medium flame. Then goes in rice. Here I've used Jiragashala rice. You can go for basmati if you want. Roast for a few minutes adding chopped coriander leaves and some mint leaves. Mix well for some time. Make sure the flame is low. Now add 4 cups of hot water. Give a mix. Add some salt. Cover the cooker and lock the pressure. Cook on high flame till the first whistle. Then reduce the flame to low and cook for 5 minutes. After the pressure is all released, open the cooker and mix using a fork first so that the rice doesn't go mushy. Time to serve. Now let me tell you how I make my boys clean their plates well. I tell them if the plate isn't clean, they are going to get the same plate for their next meal and they'll be having food with germs.
So that's a trick I use. I have always seen and been taught that women need to do all the dishes and be in the kitchen or home 24 hours taking care of the family leaving aside all their dreams. But in my house at least I won't let that happen even if I have a girl child. Maybe that's the reason I have boys so that I can help my boys prove it wrong. They are being taught to do what they have to do and not what the society expects them to do. For evening, prepare brownies with a ready-made pack. Have you ever tried a cup of sugarless coffee with a dessert or a slice of cake or even chocolate? If not, do give a try. It's heavenly taste. I love the combination but it's never a healthy option. It's a guilty pleasure and I do indulge in it when I crave for it. So that's all for today's video and I hope you enjoyed watching it. See you all with another one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.